here and hello world. Welcome to Ice Kacang Malaysia. I'm your host today, Wei Cho. So today we are embarking on an exciting Malaysia culture journey. It's an honor to be here with all of you as we dive into the rich traditions, stories and talents that make Malaysia truly remarkable. Our theme for today's show is a celebration of Chinese culture, a significant part of Malaysia diverse heritage. So to be informed, we have two parts on our show today featuring the mesmerizing melodies of the Chinese violin, also known as the Erhu, and the dynamic artistry of the line dance, all brought to you by a Malay talent boy has, who has immersed himself in this beautiful tradition. As we begin on this cultural journey, I ask you to open your hearts and minds to appreciate the beauty of variety and to celebrate the unity that connects us as Malaysian. Without further ado, let's dive into our first talk show content. You can see what uh, you can try to guess what am I what am what am I doing? Some of you might know what I'm doing already. So, but for the benefit of the doubt, let's look at this clip. Ladies and gentlemen, let's satisfy everyone's curiosity by welcoming our special guest, the incredible ta talented Erhu player, Jeru, to the stage. So Jeru, it's a pleasure to meet you. So can you like introduce a bit of yourself, like name, age, and what are you doing right now? Okay, so my name is Teo Jeru, and I'm 22 this year, and I'm currently a university student in Monash University. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Okay, may I know like when you started to play Erhu? Okay. Let's start the journey. I started playing Erhu in my secondary school. So from start from, from one to from six. Mm -hmm. mm. So why do you choose Erhu? Okay. Because in our secondary school everyone must have one club to join. So I joined Chinese Orchestra. Then mm. why mm. I chose Erhu is because um there's a senior, my senior she performed Erhu and the sound of Erhu attracted me, so I chose Erhu. Wow, you listen like so many sounds, like you only listen out Erhu. Because got the solo for her. Oh, you got solo, yeah, I solo see. I thought, like, I thought like you're so king, like <laughs> the whole orchestra, I can wow, Erhu like this. <laughs> Actually, so, it's very obvious. Obvious? Ah, very ah, obvious. I see. So after you start playing Erhu, right, is there anything like Erhu that makes you continue, like, makes you want to continue to learn it until now? Mm, uh, not until now, it's like <laughs> until my secondary <laughs> okay, school, okay. but why I continue? Um, sometimes I will feel like it's my responsible, yeah, responsible. to continue learning mm. because it's like the, join the society, ah, then, yeah, so you... Like have, everyone is practicing. Yeah, you, so you need you, to you continue. Need to. If you like give up, it's like... Not bit, so good. Yeah, not Because uh, everyone is still, still practicing for the like maybe performance or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, after you play, like, what makes you so love? Like maybe something else. Like maybe some parents supportive or. Oh yeah. So my parents actually very support me to play Erhu and join Chinese orchestra. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like sometimes when I feel very tired and stressful. Yeah, you will feel like, oh, I want to give up. But my mom will like encourage me, okay, tell me don't give up. Oh, she yeah. tell don't give yeah. up. So, during this, right, do you have any like memorable experience on competition or performance? Okay, so Anything? for our Chinese Orchestra Society in my secondary school, we will have an annual performance uh, yeah, annual, every, year. every year. Yeah, so it's like in every year, like in December. Also oh, year end. Yeah, year, year end. end. Uh -huh. So normally, what do you guys prepare for the for the performance? Okay, like, we will have like around. Or how long do you prepare? Um, the whole year. The whole year start yeah. from the start from the, like January. Start the year. Yeah, start okay, from Okay, okay. So we will have like prepare around eight to nine songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and 
not only the whole ensemble, we will also like maybe like the Erhu team and also like the flute team. team. Yeah, or the team, uh -huh. small team, like the performance. Yeah. Oh, so it's you just like for practicing from the year, the start of the year. Yeah, start of the year. Okay, so thank you, Jeru, for giving us such inspiring journey. So before we move on to the next segment, we'll watch the video about how to change the string. So I believe that most of you like didn't know many things about Erhu just like me. So you can learn how to change the string through this through this video. So which providing valuable insights into essential part of maintenance and care. So you can look through the video. Welcome back. So you have known how we change the string now. So can Jie Ru now please demonstrate some of the parts or any songs you like of playing Erhu, right? So let's prepare to fall in love with this traditional Chinese instrument. Okay, sure. Please, thank you. Wow, thank you so much for such wonderful performance, right? So, Jeru, may I know, like, why did you choose this song to perform on, on our show? Okay, so, first I want to introduce this song. Mm -hmm. And this song name is Horse Racing. Horse Racing. Mm -hmm. And why I chose this song is because this song is like, for everyone who learn or who must learn this song. Oh, it's a basic yeah. song. Yeah, everyone it's a basic song. Okay. So, it's like, an, it is also very famous. Oh, so, do you, like, learn this song yourself, like, or oh, how long do you learn this song? Okay, so how I learned this song is like my senior taught mm -hmm, me. Senior? And I used like for maybe around three to four months to learn this song when I was like... As a beginner? Uh, not beginner. It's, this, is, this is not a song for beginner, but it's oh. like um, when I was from three. Oh, it's like years two old. years, three years after you learned? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, it's a, quite a good experience, I think. Mm -hmm. So, 
can you like slightly introduce like this erhu like some component of it like maybe the strings okay and, uh, sure so firstly erhu is a two string instrument mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we have one inner string and one outer string so like the inner string the tone is like the d and the outer string is like a so um okay as long as chinese violin erhu also have a bow mm -hmm. and this bow is like made from uh, horse tail hair Horse tail hair. Yeah, okay. this is made by horse. Just now horse racing, now horse <laughs> tail. <laughs> okay, the whole thing okay. is with horse lah. Okay. Uh, and this is the snake skin. Ah, a real I see. Snake skin. Is it? Can I touch? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. Sure, it's a real snake oh, skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, with the skin. Mm -hmm. And also, okay, this string will vibrate until this snake skin and the sounds will come out from here. Oh, the sound come from, from behind. Here, yeah, ah, this is something like a speaker, yeah. <laughs> speak <laughs> okay yeah is there anything else like um, the string so we before we performance mm -hmm. our performance we need to Prepare. tune like, tune yeah we okay. need to like just like because, guitar yeah ah, like guitar uh, every okay. instrument you need to tune mm -hmm. true, true, true. to have an accurate sound ah, i yeah. see so your understanding of the erhu like is truly remarkable it's also like teach me a lot lah thank you Thank you very much. So, thank you for your expertise also. So, but now, let's take a moment to watch an advertisement video and we'll continue to show how the Erhu player could enhance their skill. Ah,放醋,餐餐好。謝謝你。可以公司再有,拜拜。拜拜。這味道好絕了。Welcome back and with all this valuable insight, so Tiru, could you like please tell us how you enhance your skills in playing Erhu? Okay, so when I was in secondary school, how I maintain my skill and enhance is like we have a technical practice so every time before we practice our performance song mm -hmm, we must mm -hmm. have a like around 30 minutes warm up yeah warm up oh, it's like yeah warm up. so okay, it's like okay. a team warm up then mm -hmm. we, our our lead of our team will like lead the warm up section so like we will have a skill practice mm -hmm. like the do ah, I see. Uh, and also we will have a string switching practice it's, yeah because we have two strings uh -huh. so when we like pull and we need yeah. to like yeah we need to like practice how we change the string oh, like change I from see. this it's not inner like string just one like violin. actually because we, ah, yeah so we need to like practice to avoid like too many like uh, noise oh those yeah. noises uh -huh. so you have mentioned like you only learn until secondary school then you stop right yeah then so I heard like you have faced some challenges, not challenges, like some some problems when you like wanted to prof perform on our show, like. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so because mm -hmm. I have like four years, I didn't practice my erhu, so it's four like four years. It's yeah, like pretty long. Pretty long. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I have to take 
um, like recall the memory how to play and it's uh, like so my you... finger is like cannot too fluent to play the uh, music. I so see. actually my performance is not <laughs> that good. Uh, you're not satisfied yeah, with it. Yeah, not satisfied. Like, uh, it's like, yeah. you, you, you practice for our show, la, only for our show. La. How long be? Around three days. Three days? Three to every four day. days. Not every day, yeah. It's like... Because um, I stay at yeah, my hostel, student, right? yeah, so my hostel cannot play instrument because sure. we will disturb the others. Oh, you can yeah. only go home lah. Yeah, I will go to my my friend's place. place. Oh, yeah, I see. So, do you have any advice for beginners? Maybe like someone who like me like just wanted to start this journey. Okay, so for beginners, actually, they need to learn how they put their fingers on the string, and also how to pull the bow. Mm. So, and. I suggest the beginner need to practice every day. Every like, day. Spend, like how long? How long a day? Um, spend around at least two hours two for, hours. Beginner, for oh, beginners. For okay. beginners. Okay, so because for our school, right, mm -hmm. our Chinese Orchestra Society, uh, our practice like during the whole day. School, like we have need to go to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we need, need to, to study, right? yeah, we need to study. So like in the afternoon, we need to spend like two to three hours. Mm -hmm to practice at least three days per week. And for the holiday, school holiday, we will like, the practice is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh, so the whole day. Yeah. So two hours is already less a day. Yeah. Okay, so that wraps up this part for Ice Kacang Malaysia. So a big thank you for you, for your invaluable guidance on Erhu. And it's never going to be late to start everything, including the musical instrument. So I wish this sharing would have truly inspired you to start your musical journey. So. Let's bid a farewell to Jie Roof and for the next part, we have another guest, a Malay Lion Dance player with over a decade of experience. So we'll explore how his love for Lion Dance began, the challenges he faced and if racial barriers ever made him consider giving up. So let's stay tuned for the next, next part of Lion Dance. So let's ask Kacang Malaysia after the advertisement. Hello? Hello everyone, welcome back to Ice Kacang Malaysia. It's me again, Wei Chong, your host of the show. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you as we continue the exploration of Malaysia culture and traditions. In Malaysia, there are many different races with their own unique traditions which successfully cultivates a community of mutual learning culture. And now, we are shifting our focus to the next part of Malaysian heritage, the Lion Dance. 
and it is performed by a talented Malay boy who has more than one decade experience in lion dance. But first, let's take a closer look to lion dance and its significance in Malaysia culture. Roll the clip. So after the clip, we are so glad to invite this guest right now. So let's, without further ado, let's welcome Shazmin. Yeah, Shazmin, can you do a little bit introduction of yourself? Yeah, sure. My name is Shazmilo, 22 years old, and I'm a student from Inti Nilai University. And I'm currently a bachelor in mass communication. Mm. So how long did you learn line dance? Uh, I learned around like uh, 14 years. Right ah, so which club are you from? Ah? I'm from Yuhua Dragon Line Dance Association Kajang and they are formed in 1996 by Yuhua and Fire Organization with the aim for Yuhua uh, Culture and Sport Council mm -hmm. and today we have 75 students that uh, they are from secondary school, primary school alumni ah, and yeah, they are so. from Chinese, Indian, Malay and Iban. Wow, mm. there's uh, many culture inside. Ah. So, there's a definitely a thing that like makes you like wanted to start the lion dance. Can you like share something about it? Yeah, sure. So uh, when I was young mm -hmm. during Chinese New Year, I the way I view lion dance is like a unique culture and sport, cause they can like uh, make a special expression of the lion. Which when I look it, it's like a real animal or lion it's performed in front lion, of me. Huh? Yeah. So from that, I start to join lion dance. Ah, you want to become the lion? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <All right. laughs> After you started, right, you definitely will find a club and started to train, right? Mm, definitely, true. there's some problems, like, what d makes you, like, continue to learn until now? Oh, so, first of all, is, um, I love lying down because I can go to performance or competition, right, win yeah. a lot of medal. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I so, Show sure, yourself. Sure. Showcase. Yeah, sure. And then slowly, because like when I get along with them along many years, mm -hmm. and then the way they treat me is like they are family. Mm -hmm. So because I'm a mix, and my dad is Chinese, my mom is Malay. So when it comes to food, they sometimes prepare me halal food. So they will like um, ask me, do you need this? Do you need that? So uh, even if like I want, I need to go to pray or fasting, right? Mm -hmm. They also take good care of me. Oh, so they, it feels like a home and a family, you know. Oh, they they kind of like treat you as family, yeah, right? true. Because Normally, like, line dance club is, like, more Chinese. More right? Chinese, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, you mentioned you want medals. Yeah, you want true. Performance. <laughs> so, definitely, there are some memorable performance or competition that you are, that's always in your mind. Yeah, there's, there's one in 2022, which is I represent Malaysia to compete for Asian game online competition. Mm -hmm. So, I get the champion. So, champion, this, that's the uh, first that's champion. That's the first champion of yeah, yours. Yeah, I get so, do live? How, how do we do live online? So basically, um, we ourselves, mm -hmm. we set for a uh, camera with different angle. So we compete in like Zoom. So our judge is international judge. They zoom in and then they have uh, international player like Hong Kong, Macau, China. Oh, so we compete, uh, compete at the same time. So they will give the judge point on the oh, spot. They give the point on mm. the spot then. Then the trophies, they send it to you. <laughs> yeah, they, they will send it. Ah, I mm. see. So. Man, or like you are in the club, right? Yeah, so, true. is there any like position of yours? So, for Yuha, I'm an assistant coach. So, I will need to align with the head coach on what's the mission and goal of the team, and help the member mm -hmm. in like, oh, they want to achieve this type of line down competition goal. So, me myself with my head coach, we need to plan their whole year the through, training, the training program, mm -hmm. and then we also because. Our team itself focus on behavior. Behavior. Yeah. Our priority is their behavior, and second comes to line arts. Ah, mm. so can you tell us like normally what you guys do, like basic training in your basic training? Basically, we have uh, some category. If you are a new student, we like giving them starting with uh, instrument. 
instrument like uh, the gong, yeah, and drum, the drum, gong, cymbals, yeah. and then if they are good at it, and then we can go to second level, which is starting our line dance. Ah, I see. Uh, if they are really good, intermediate, professional, they can go to acrobatic style. Mm, so, very a uh, very thank you lah for share you for sharing in your incredible journey with us, Shazmi. So. Your passion of line dance is truly inspiring and I'm sure the audience is interested and eager to learn more about it. So now let's hear from some of your junior. Oh, 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 yeah. in, we interviewed them already. So as they share their experience and insight into the world of line dance in our interview video. Let's see.我的名字叫谢泰龙那个是什么意思直到我进入五十团过后我就更了解他们这些招式的意义带来的是什么然后我现在也在学习当中啦最近也是有几家小兵猫也是有请我们比如讲是美超派啊美超卡将啊还有一些神庙啊在新年的时候
cultural conflict like between you and your maybe your family anything else mm, no because the, for the, the team oh okay for my family we don't have because yeah just like i say i'm chinese and malay so we already coexist with this environment mm -hmm. and then for our for my team uh, basically, when you go performance or competition, they will light the incense, right? Pray to the God. Ah, yeah, yeah. So for me, it's because I'm a Muslim, so I just respect them and then stand behind as a God. And then they themselves also respect me, like during this fasting month or whenever I need to go to pray, mm -hmm. they just tell me, just go. Because this is a religion, right? They just support me. Okay, if you need time to pray or fasting, you just go. You don't mm. need to ask us. Mm. Mm. Does it like make some uh, disturb? Not disturb lah, some problem like maybe you feel like guilty or anything. Mm, no. no, because at, at first I have like because I, have I just definitely have. Yeah. Uh, definitely but then have they just tell me like you don't need, you don't need to worry okay, because what? this is your religion, mm -hmm. right? They respect me, I also respect them. So yeah. So there isn't any like race race no, no, problem no. inside. Ah, they really take and good then care the of you. The environment is very good, what? Yes, really healthy. Very, very good. Ah, I see. You wanna. Uh, like attract some of them, the viewers to join <laughs> Yihua, Yihua Blind Cup. Uh, for of course, yes, because I like I say, because you can see the team they're focusing more to behavior, which mm -hmm. is they you can see that they really uh, emphasize that a person behavior are more more important than lines are because you know like behavior is sometimes it can be good, it can be bad. Mm -hmm. So they try to uh, educate uh, people or team to be a better person. Mm -hmm. So yeah. actually like. I've seen some newspaper, right? Mm -hmm. They see like they talk like um, line dance is like have some challenges. Like, do you like do you face like since you are in the club, right? Mm. Do you like see any problem like the line dance how we are doing it in Malaysia? The problem, uh, basically, the problem I've really heard like they will say line dance players are mostly uh bad kids, bad kids, bad kids, like kids. The kampung, kampung yeah, kids, the kampung kids or like <laughs> really uh they say uh. How can you say Pai Kia? Oh, uh, Pai Kia, you say oh, something see, like that. Okay. But me, myself, I'm not sure because that's their view. But for me, it's quite different. If they say they are really bad kids, right? For my team, uh, in this Chinese New Year, so they saw that the grand, the old parents, la, there's a couple, they want to walk the street, but then the car really fast. Mm -hmm. But they themselves, they run over, go across the road uh, to bring, bring them, them come here. Without anyone told them. They just run out there, mm -hmm. just bring them. So I just say like, this is not the type of view that people see. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like some of them. Yeah, some of them. Some of other mm. other people True. I see. So do you think like the the lion dance ah, mm -hmm. now is is it going to the right way in Malaysia? I can say that yeah, because uh, we have a lot of uh, competitive team slowly. And then Malaysia. in Malaysia, uh -huh. and then we have lots of game in uh, overseas country like our team. Our team like around end of April, we will compete to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Then there's a lot of things they will go to Taiwan. They will compete and then they get better result. Mm -hmm. So we can see that Malaysia Dragon Dance and Land Dance are already in the right track. In the right track. Yeah. So during this lot, this these years, mm. like, like did you have like any injuries? For this year, it's uh, like very dangerous, right? If, yeah. if you go to high pole. For me, it's a new year. New year. My new year, I get uh, my new broke leg, which broke is leg. my, my uh, ankle. I just sprained my ankle because when I landing to the ground after the pole, I just sprained it ninety degree. Like, perform in a performance I know, or practice training? during practice. Then how long does it recover? Uh, back I, to the back to the. I, I can't say it's fully recovered because after that. Two weeks later, we, I need to perform. So later. until now, sometimes I can feel the the side effect. I still a little bit pain. A little bit pain, yeah. Wow. Like sometimes I sit right and I mm. stand too long, I can feel like oh, there's a pain there. Ah. Ah. So have you recovered now? I think around ninety percent, I guess. Ninety percent. But you you have performance two weeks later, right? Yeah, and okay. e even in Chinese New Year, I also perform. So yeah. Ah. Okay, mm. take a good rest. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> thank, thank you. you for sharing your journey through these challenges, Shazbi. So your resilience is truly inspiring and I'm sure this story will encourage more people to pursue their dreams fearlessly. So now let's take a short break for a public service announcement. Let's anticipate the upcoming line dance demonstration. Stay tuned for more excitement at Ice Kacang Malaysia. Thank you. 
，呃，是个地方吗？啊，什么地方？你今天可以赢了，在那边。哦，今天啊。嗯，要吗？不是带你去而已。哦，可以啊，可以啊，可以啊，不是带你去。哎，来来来，下一场，下一场，快点来，继续，继续。Welcome back to Ice Kacang Malaysia, everyone. So when I watch a lion dance, like I never understand like what what they are doing actually. Just like gong gong chang, gong gong chang. So, however, here, a professional lion dance player who has fourteen years of experience that can solve all my problems. So let's join me as a unravel all the mystery behind this ancient traditional together. So, the first question, we have seen different. Costume, right? Why is this fluffy pants? Like, how do you do it? Oh, how they do it? They are mm -hmm. just just sewing it, and then for a good question, let me tell you. Mm. It's just like our line dance, which you see five column here. Yeah. Five column represent a lion head. Head. The head. Yeah, this one. Yeah. For the tail, okay. they just have four column. Four column. Mm. Why is it different? Uh, because just to uh, differentiate. the reason is, I think. Because when we tail, we need to make them jump up on our leg, right? So if there are extra column here, they will reflect the way the step. Mm, yeah, true. Oh, I see. Mm. So you got belt also. Yeah, the, this is the, the belt. The black belt. Mm. What? How is it using? So if we are line dance head and tail, this belt is to using for the tail to hide, uh, head up the person on the acrobatic. For the only only head will. Wear the belt. But then basically all our team member will wear because it's like part of our uniform. But for uh -huh. performance, they use that uh, to make the stunts. So they, yeah, they when they carry, they need to grab the tight this one. Oh, they won't, they won't skip one. Eh? No, no, no. It's they won't very skip. tight. Yeah, very tight. Ah, I yeah. see. So, compared to your costume just now, eh, mm. is it, is it any difference? No, the uh, that one is just casual. Ah, just tra casual. Tra training. Yeah. Yeah. Training also wear that. Uh, no, if like I go to like event occasion or something, uh, we can just wear. Also, oh, normally you wear a uniform and then just. Uh, if pants. like we go to a performance, we have uh, our club sh uh, shirt long pants. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is the way if we are performance as a lion head and tail. Ah, I see. So let's come to this lion dance. So could you demonstrate some yeah, of, sure, your, sure. of your signature movement? Oh, see, I, see. <laughs> I would say, yeah. So uh, we demonstrate mm -hmm. the normal move, basic move that we oh, use. Yes. So basic, basic move. Basic move. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So this is the lion. This is the lion head. Yeah. I need to kong kong chang, is it? Kong kong chang. <laughs> So what does it move means? So basically, this move, uh, they can be happy, they can be angry, but based on mm, the, the instrument that they play, if they are the tempo, the tempo, if the tempo is too intense, that show this line that's angry, angry, okay. or scared, something like that. So mm. normally, when do you use this move? This move basically is the uh, opening start of the line dance. Mm. Everything that we use, the, this is the opening three. Ah, mm. I see. So. How long did you like learn like master this move? For this one, yeah, uh, this set, this set is around one month for me. 
What because that time I was a uh, primary school. Oh, you're still in uh, primary school. They, right? Nah, primary school. They then they taught me, so I get get around one month. Why wow, primary school can hold this thing? Uh? Yeah. Uh, this one is the normal line that you can see. This is adult adult, adult line. Uh, uh, we have the so small one. So we got one. the small one. Mm, nice. Yeah, the small one. Yeah. Can I try this now? The yeah, move. True. You can teach me some. Okay, let me teach you yeah, like yeah, uh yeah. the way how we can uh paint the eyes and yeah, you paint yeah, the mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, you can hold which hand. If you are right hand, you can hold the right hand here. Right hand. And then here's the mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, son. Nice one. So you can uh, pull the string together with the... Yeah. Okay. So basically, right, we this hand, we make it open, wide open, so that you can support the lion head, although when you are pulling the string. You can pull. Okay. Wait, ah. Uh. Uh, uh, you can pull. Uh, yeah, true. Nice, nice. So, but but when, I, when I'm pulling, my hand isn't on this. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it true? I mean, is it correct? Yeah, is it correct? Because you need to. Okay, we have cushion behind, right? Mm -hmm. You can you just uh barring behind the cushion, mm -hmm. and then your hand just wide open, and then they can support you when you are. Oh, like yeah. I can just pull the string. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, just support. Yeah, and then you can play with the mouth also. Oh, how? Then how is the set? How do I do the set? Oh, never mind. You can just open. Mm -hmm. You are trying. Okay, this line is very unique. So when you open your mouth bigger. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, move to for left, or right, and then you play the the eyes. It mm -hmm. shows the cuteness of the lion, basically. Ah, I see, like this. Uh. Ah. <laughs> ah, yeah. And then you mark me to wide open. Oh, wide open. Ah, wide open. Mm -hmm. like. Ah, something close. like that. Yeah. You put some mandarin or orange here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and then you open I, the I, mandarin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. You good? Oh, it's a yeah. great experience, though. Yeah. Wow. wow. Is do it? Have do you know how many kg of this line head I don't know. itself? I don't know. So minimum is around three to four. Uh -huh. Just the head. Just it, the head. If we have if the we tail, have the tail together, tail right? Together. It's around seven to eight kg. Is it so heavy? Uh? But then I see the tail is like very light only. It depends on like the, the brand that you buy the oh, board. You still got different brands. Well, we have, I thought, like, we have Nike Adidas, right? Because, because we have another brand called this one is one Seng Hang. Uh -huh. the, we always buy from them mm -hmm. and they have other brands. Mm. So different brands have different weight. Mm. Ah, I see. Can you show like something like with amazers? Like, so Amazer. Yeah, not, not basic one. Let the, me try. The, uh, expert professional one, I would say. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, okay, okay, amaze okay. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To amaze you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I try, I try, ah. Uh. Wow. The ice is still breaking. And I gong gong chang, gong gong chang. It's something it's like the way that how and when they want to look at the new thing, like somehow, like where we didn't know the Curious. things. Uh, curiosity. Curiosity. Mm. Ah, I see. So, like, so this one we we'll normally use at. Oh, type? this one is like when a lion they look at a new object, the curiosity like, oh, what is this? What is that? Mm -hmm. So they start to uh, go around and searching. Is this thing is safety for them to eat or oh, play? Yeah, I see. Mm. So. Thank you for demonstration. This professional side, I, I, I don't I don't like the uh, <laughs> it will take very many time. So thank you for your so your demonstration and then uh, I learned so much from this section. I would say is I've learned how to like pull the eyes and everything. I never learned line dance before until I meet you. Thank you very much. So okay. let's continue our exploration of line dance with a video showcasing a mesmerizing performance by Yu Hua Dragon and Lion Dance Club at. SMJK Yuhua for their 106 years celebration. So prepare to be amazed by their skills and their talent. The, the tradition of line dance too.
Welcome back everyone, now we are back with more captivating discussion on Ice Kacang Malaysia. So, we will continue our talk show with a deeper dive into the components of the lion, which is the lion head. So, we we'll explore each part, I guess, and yeah. unreal all the meanings behind. See. So, first of all, is this uh, mirror? Mirror, this one? Yeah, the mirror is uh, used to chase away the bad things or something like, like those. shine. Nah, shine. Mm -hmm. So, this one basically people say is, what is this, what is this? Basically, uh, yeah, it's their yeah. nose. It's a fluffy The fluffy thing. nose, yep. Oh, the nose? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I thought this one is a nose. Together. Yeah, that's together. Oh, it's the whole, ah. whole thing, okay. And then, as you can see, like, Ryan Dance, when you see this, like, big, big object in the middle, mm -hmm. these are basically just a sticker. They cut it up and then they just paste, paste it. it. Uh -huh. So when you say, you see this one, it's like paint, right? Uh -huh. Basically, they're paint with your we can, own hand. We can tell. Mm. Oh, they paint like one by one. Yeah, one by one. Let, let you see. Eh. This one is the mark, right? Mm -hmm. Most see her, it's uh, paint by themselves. So this uh -huh. one is a bling one. It's their, just take the sticker and just, just paste uh -huh. it. So like def uh, normally, la, mm. do you know like how long will it make? If not mistaken, for just the head, mm -hmm. around two weeks, I guess. Two weeks. Uh, but then they did not add on this fluffy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you still want to stick one by one. But uh. it also depends. Yeah. Like, this one, they are not so custom made. Like us, we have like custom line dance. We have Black Panther. Black, pan uh, Black, Black Panther. Black Panther, yeah. They custom made their draw <laughs> themselves. Yeah, true. And the other one in Chinese, we call Yue Fei. Yue Fei. Yue Fei. Okay. Uh. So custom made normally takes longer. Yeah, longer because they are hundred percent. They're using their hand, the paint one by one. Ah. The very details. Okay. Yeah. So then, like, anything like they got their behind meanings. Of uh, the line head. if like uh, we have Sanko Yanyi, which is the three uh, emperor, yeah, right? Three kingdom. Three kingdom. So if there, you can see a line, white, fluffy here, and white. then white line uh -huh. dance, and then behind they have a colorful uh, pattern. They we call it a uh, Liu Pei. Liu Pei. So mm. white color is Liu Pei. Yeah. And then the black color and Red. black with white or black with green we call it Zhang Fei. Zhang Fei. Uh, and then uh -huh. and Guan then Yi. the Guan Yi is a black with red. Black with red. Yeah, mm. just like his face, red yeah. color. <laughs> <laughs> How do you differentiate? Okay, it? so like normally like mm. is it possible to share the price of one head? Oh, okay. <laughs> so um around it depends on the brand. Mm -hmm. depends okay, on the brand. it's depends so, on the brand. In normally? Two, normally, it's around, you can buy from 2005 to 4000 this range. It's quite expensive. Yeah, it's quite expensive. It's cost, as it you can see, because the cost that they do. Yeah, the time, mm. time, time cost. Is it including sure. the, the back, the lion tail? Yeah, that's included. Uh, I mm. see. So, thank you, Shasmi, for sharing the components of lion dance. La. So, lion dance is far more than just a sport. It requires many patience, I believe, yeah, and true. fearless because you're high pole, right? Mm. Even like facing the height and everything and potential injuries just like what Shazmi just now said. So let's, now let's gain further insight into the Vice President and Acting President of the Hong De Lion Dance Association in our interview video before we move to our last segment with Shazmi.马来西亚有最特殊的东西跟教育结合的一个共体
不停的一直去发展、发扬、改进、再改进，做得好，做得更好。我是希望在马来西亚五十人可以舞出人生。在他们的舞狮过程当中，他们学习到很多做人的道理。师父时常有一句话，就是“舞狮人生，舞出人生”。啊，然后我恩师也是有句话叫做“不怕跌倒，才能屹立不倒”。As we return from the interview with the vice president and acting president of Hong the Lion Dance Association, so they shared a lot. Of their thoughts about lion dance, and I really appreciate their sacrifice for the lion dance. So without them, Malaysia wouldn't have reached this remarkable standard we see today. So, talking about lion dance, I believe you have some future insight to your maybe your positions or to yourself. So, uh, can you share some of it? For me myself, I just hope that I can represent the country or the team to compete in the acrobatic mm -hmm. competition. And then for the team, I hope that the new generation of the team member they can strive more to gain what they want to achieve their goal. And I really hope that our team can get a great result year by year. Mm, I mm. see. So, how about your position? Like you wanted to be not only assistant, the coach, uh, the bigger no, one. No, no, of course. I enjoy to be an assistant coach because I help them at the same time. I help myself. Mm -hmm. So me myself, uh, instead of assistant coach, for of course I just hope I can get. A trophy for my team as a acrobatic stance or playing drums and anything. Ah, I just want to hunger more. Hunger for more. Hunger okay. for more. So is there anything like you hope your juniors like future? Yeah, true. Uh, as I just say that, I hope that they can know what they want and achieve what oh, they to like. Find, to, to find, find what they want. Yeah, yeah true. What they truly need. And they need to. They really need to work hard and strive mm -hmm. to get what they want. Okay, mm -hmm. so for the people like me, okay, mm -hmm. uh, for example me lah, mm -hmm. how do you like convince or like give advice to me like if I'm interested in line dancing? For me, uh, we just have a mindset that every sport there's a really good, good uh, sport that bring us a healthy lifestyle, healthy right? Lifestyle. So you just need to. Follow based on what you love. If you love line dance, just join us line dance. Mm. If you don't love, it's never mind because this is uh, your preference. Yeah, preference. So right. plus because line dance is a Chinese culture, so I think it's it's a good thing if you love line dance because you can support your culture as well. Mm. I mm. I believe just now you have said like the culture inside the club also very good, right? Yeah, true. Uh, you can learn many many new mm. things, right? So thank you for for just me on the future. So this full of rich history and cons constant dedication of Lion Dance. So it also represents the unity and culture of our inheritance. So I'm so, how do you say, amazed with your passion and dedicated to maintaining this tradition. It's 14 years, it's, quite, it's very long, long I would say. So may the Lion Dance thrive and never stop inspiring us all. So last, also thank you, you for coming our, our, to our show as I know you're pasa today yeah. is a bit tired, I, I would say, okay. so later okay. take a good rest. So for last, do you have anything to say to all our audience? Uh, first of all, thank you UCSI and Ice Kacang mm -hmm. for inviting me to uh, talk about line dance and let the audience know about uh, every culture, every race they can learn. Like, although okay. like Chinese, they can learn Malay culture, Malay can learn Chinese culture, so that our country will be more harmony. Mm, yeah. Unity. Unity. But yeah. thanks again, UCSI, for inviting me and Ice Kacang. Okay, thank you to you also. So let's thank Shazmi again, last, last, last. So before we end this episode, we introduce an event which is the final year project of Mass Communication Final Year Student. We are having an event this Friday, which is tomorrow. We have invited one of the committees from the Final Year Project to explain and advertise their even later, but for now, let us watch the event trailer now. Are you struggling to lead your team? Next Talk is what you need. Huh? Next Talk will be held on the 22nd of March 2024 at UCSI University KL campus. Join Next Talk 
and be the next leader. I believe you have a little bit sight, uh, sight understand of the event. So, can you do an introduce of yourself okay, for our uh, in yes, viewers? Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Angeline and I am one of the committees in UCSIU in Yip. Yeah, so what is all this event of? Um, so basically, U in U is the name of our uh, FYFP final project mm -hmm. uh, by Mass Communication Student. Mm -hmm. So uh, you say say you in youth, uh, we hold uh, in you you say in you in you we have uh, two big events, mm -hmm. which is a conference event, and also the other one is charity night dinner. Ah, so what is about all this conference event like? What's the difference between these two events? Okay, so in next talk, uh, in next talk, our purpose is giving the tools for youth to to let them know uh, what what can they do uh, to for what what can they do so to become a future leader. Ah, okay, so we 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 will invite the experts but speakers from Malaysia mm -hmm. uh, that are related to the MESCOM. Mm -hmm. So it's street production, journalism, and marketing. Ah, I see. So what about the charity night? Uh, okay, so the charity night, uh, charity night is a more to a formal event that are open for public. Mm -hmm. So include the students. We will invite the students, uh, lecturer, donation, uh, donators, uh, and also the parents. Ah, so... Yeah. I mentioned like one is tomorrow, right? Mm. Which one is for the tomorrow one? Ah, uh, to tomorrow is the next stop. Mm -hmm. So you guys can, you guys can uh, join, join uh, our event from nine a.m. tomorrow. Start from nine a.m. to five p.m. at UCSI Block G G G O Eight. How about the charity night? Charity night will be on thirtieth March. So uh, next we'll Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next Saturday. So we'll start on next Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, we will have a lot of performances mm -hmm. there and we can eat together. But we are not only uh, eating together, but we also collaborate with one of the NGO mm -hmm. charity. Uh, it's a Suka Society. Uh, yeah. I see. So... <laughs> If you are interested in this event, please you can go to forward to our approach to our booth at Block A. So overwhelmed with graduate the, for the opportunity to explore our nation rich cultural with all of you. So from the wonderful melodies of the Erhu to the dynamic artistry of Lion Dance, we have witnessed the beauty and diversity that makes Malaysia truly special. So let us carry the lesson and learn and the memories shared tonight as we continue to embrace and celebrate our heritage. Remember, the spirit of unity and appreciation for our traditions will always guide us forward. So thank you for joining us on this unforgettable journey today. Until we meet again, keep spreading love, unity, and the joy of Malaysian culture. Good day, and see you next time on Ice Kacang Malaysia. Now, we have the distinct pleasure of inviting Jie Ru, the esteemed Erhu, player to grace us with her presence and bring our show to a closer close with a captivation performance. Jeru please.